I'm drinking honey right now. Hope I don't crash all the mouth. If you see me out of town, hope I'm all in now. Lost my mind to this girl, peace and purple now. For the store, they run out of spread a wow. I don't feel good when I'm high. I can't touch the sky. If I die, let on night, know that I was high. Oshea has found Adidas for non compliance with safety standards in Orange County, New York warehouse. In one agency book, Adidas isn't the three stripes. Uh, Adidas isn't the three stripe brands. It's the street stripe brand. Okay. Uh, okay. Wow. They're trying to do a play on words here. It says it isn't the three, the three stripes brand. It's the three stripes brand. So I guess it's like three strikes are out. So they're trying to say stripes versus strikes. So they're trying to be slick here. Some, wow. This person's really that clever. Anyway, I got to come at the person because you know what I'm saying? They're trying to do a little, you know, I don't know. That was corny to me. Yeah, you know the fucking editor play. You know I put. You see, did I put that in there? <laughs> <laughs> really gonna get him with this one, man. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. But yeah, um, it says the U.S. Occupational Safety and Health Administration, and that's OSHA, by the way, announced August 9th that it has issued a three hundred and ninety-six thousand three hundred and seventy-seven dollars in fines to Adidas America Incorporated. The U.S. Uh, severity of the German sportswear company, OSHA, said in a release that the fines come after the company failed to uh, rectify safety issues in the warehouse in Orange County, New York. So apparently, yeah. sorry to cut you off, but you know it, it, it's OSHA. Do you know? Do you know what OSHA is? Yeah. I just, most, most, what's that? I just read what it is, but go ahead, break it down. Most likely not, because in your work, field of work, you guys don't really have to. Yeah, do it. I don't heard of it, but I never experienced. See, it. I work yeah. in a warehouse for everybody. I work in a warehouse for who frequently, frequently deal with OSHA. Um, so pretty much OSHA. I I don't know the acronym, but pretty much it's pretty much the safety that goes on in your work area. You know. Yeah. So I, I the acronym is occupational so safety. Whatever Nike's doing over there, whatever Nike's doing over there must not be in compliance with. No, OSHA. it's Adidas, bro. It's Adidas. Oh well, what Adidas doing over there must not be in compliance with OSHA. Was pretty much OSHA for you know for anybody who don't know for you know it's pretty much the the set standards of how uh, a, a heavily operated facility should work. Like the safety guides and stuff, like I, you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. they set the guides in place of what what safe is, of what what is. If you're like say like if you're working in a like prime example like me, you work around forklifts. They set the examples of safety for what you should be doing if you're operating a forklift. You know, they're yeah. like the standard. And if you go against those standards, you know, they're coming down there and they want they slap you with a fine. You know. Yeah, but that's pretty much what OSHA is. They set the safety standards for hazardous work, you know. Yeah. But whatever yeah. the dude is doing over there, if OSHA had to come down there, then it must not be good. Yeah, uh, apparently $396,377 in fines worth, not good. Jeez, damn. That, that, so that's <laughs> gonna have to, for them, yeah. I would say this probably gonna have to be, damn, 300, almost 400,000 in. Safety fines. Yeah, almost. But hey, when when it's all said and done, it's probably gonna be four hundred thousand. You know. Yeah, but, but I wonder. Fuck, what the fuck could they have got wrong? Man, probably, maybe. I would say the only thing that could probably cost them that much would probably be like having undocumented workers. You know. Probably, and then probably. and OSHA stands for Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Yeah. So if you work in like in hazardous areas like i say work like work warehouse or if you work like um like in food like stuff like that you know obviously food is probably one of the bigger safety hell yeah things, you know um next uh, to like tattoo, work um, tattoo, construction work yeah healthcare tattoo yeah all that yeah, yeah osha probably will come down on the tattoo industry because that's got to do with you know the body so you know but so yeah um, OSHA is a very serious, um, very serious organization. And if you ever have to see OSHA, um, then obviously you're not doing something somewhere right, you know? Exactly. If, you have to have, if you have to have a conversation with him in person, um, you've, you've fucked up somewhere. <laughs> you know? Yeah.
pretty much. You drop the ball or something. You're like, not that's even... like almost damn near if like the FDA got to come see you, you know? True. I figured out.